Xbox This is the Xbox E3 2018 briefing Fuck is this? Okay. Get fucked. Infinity. Okay. So is that still Halo 6 or is it has a cheat, so I guess. See, I had a feeling it was Halo, but I wasn't sure. Please welcome the head of Xbox, Bill Spencer. Why are there rhinos on fucking on a Halo ring? We will join Master Chief on his greatest adventure yet to save humanity. We are now at a moment of exceptional creativity in gaming. We can't wait to show you what Creativity Unleashed looks like for you. So to all the gamers around the world, across time zones and languages, to every single person watching us on TV and on Mixer, and to our largest ever live audience, the thousands Twitch? of you with us right here in the Microsoft Theater, welcome to E3 2018. I'd like to personally thank everyone who's joining us from FanFest. Whatever that is. 100% of the proceeds from your FanFest tickets are going to Gamers Outreach. I feel like this is really quiet for some Thanks to you, kids in children's hospitals get to game with their friends in their favorite worlds. It's a great cause. That's what I appreciate most about gaming. Gaming brings us together. Gaming connects us. 
It inspires our truest cooperation. It creates some of our fondest memories of competition and our deepest conversations about the stories within games. Most of all, gaming fosters real community. It reaches across age, ability, race, gender, and geography. This is why I've always believed and will always believe that gaming is the great unifier. And what unifies us is our shared love of this art form. Legendary characters who captivate us. Not just for well, 10 fancy. hours, but for 10, 20, 30 years. Wait, is that... Oh, Old okay, the whole thing's beautiful. That inspire the hero within us. Iconic worlds that are so richly imagined, we feel excitement yeah, in the air okay. and danger on the seas. As gamers, we are at a momentous time where creative vision and cutting edge technology together are delivering the art form we love. So, for months, our teams and I have traveled the world, meeting developers from Japan to Poland from the UK to the Ukraine, from big studios to single developers, creators who seize the full power and potential of Xbox One to express their most daring vision for games. Today, we've curated a bold showcase of their best work and ours. 50 games. 50. Nice. 18 titles with exclusivity. Ooh. 15 world premieres. Fuck yeah. Nice. Nice. Some will be first timers on this stage, and others will be first timers on any stage. All are imagined by the industry's greatest talent. All demonstrate what true artisans can create mind blowing art, immersive sound effects, breathtaking worlds. So let's jump in. Exclusive. Oh, oh yeah, this guy. I know this guy. I just thought you bought for a Two thousand nineteen. Cool. It looks pretty nice actually. I like the colors and shit. World premiere. World premiere. This looks cool as fuck. So you're awake. Look, 
looks like Holy shit! Just yet. His arm is all kinds of fucked up. Some time has passed since I found you. Is this a Tenchu? The master still lives. They'll soon make use of his bloodline. The men you have lost will give way to something more. If this is a Tenchu or an, um, You'll in the scroll. You'll appreciate its worth. It fucking looks like a Tenchu or an in scroll. Ninja Scroll? I don't think it is called Ninja Scroll, I think it's called something else. Ooh, it got fucked up. I'm just fucked up a giant. Your man. death won't come easily. What? Fuck yeah, an actual game I can play for a ninja game. For the Xbox One. That time. See Korea or sure. That looks cool as fuck! Please welcome, from Bethesda Game Studios, Todd Howard. It might be Shadow Scroll or something, I can't think of the name. How's everybody doing? Shinobi Do, that's what it's called. Oh, it's not Ninja Scroll, Shinobi Do. You know, the Bethesda event but still, that looks really cool. I like that right after thing. this, across the street, and uh, Phil said to me, "I'm having a few friends over. Why don't you uh, stop by?" And look, I know Phil is really, really charming, um, but damn, he's got a lot of friends. And the good news is, you're our friends too. We've had an incredible 16-year history with Xbox going all the way back to the original with Morrowind. Oh, I'm talking about Elder Scrolls now. Now backwards compatible. And that goes all the way to bringing mods to consoles with Fallout 4. And now we are bringing the Fallout universe to Xbox Game Pass with Fallout 4 launching today. <laughs> and hey, since we're here, we thought we'd give all of you an exclusive world premiere first look at Fallout 76. 76? How do you go from 4 to 76? Yes, Fallout 76 is a prequel to all the other games, and it is our biggest one yet. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. Set in the hills of West Virginia, you are one of the first to emerge into an untamed and very different wasteland. I've got into the Fallout series, so this should be interesting. years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This 
sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vortec, but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is all there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, flowing like the breeze. Country roads, take me home to the place. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately America itself. In Vault 76, our future begins. Okay. World premiere. Spirit of my silence, I can hear you, but I'm afraid to be near you. Very nice. I don't know where to begin. Don't, I don't know. Is this Life is Strange 2? If this is Life is Strange 2, it fucking looks. Whoa! It's just me, Captain Spirit. This is Chris for the Flying Fortress. Have you spotted the Snowmancer? Not yet. Keep me posted. Chris, breakfast. Okay, Dad. You're drinking beer? I don't need a lecture for my son. I always get picked last for the team at school. Then they never throw the ball to me. They can't tell stories like you can, can they? No way. Start the launch. <laughs> This time, you won't get away from me. I miss Mom's smile. Me too. Nobody's friend. You're probably gonna change the world. I hope so. I know so. Justice Spirit is here! Captain Spirit. Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. Download for free from June 26th. Captain Spirit. Well, it's not Life is Strange 2, but that's still cool. It's in the Life is Strange universe, so that's fucking awesome. Definitely, definitely gonna get that one. Commander Jackson on deck. Welcome to Crackdown 3. The only game built like me. Me. Beautiful, like a skyscraper, falling at your face. If you want to play on my level, follow my lead. Somebody give Terry me my Curry. jam. It's all about getting the jump on the enemy. No building is too high. He looks just like a nut. Incoming. Where are the crack hands going to go? Grab more, grow more, nama, 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 yeah, bigger, Jackson! Then you need that firepower. Homing rocket gun, bullseye, vortex cannon, see ya, graviton tether. Have you two met? And the most powerful weapon of all, me. And then I roll out like a boss. I can push off fools, pull up the side of a building, or even bust out my very own tank. Oh, yeah. Boom, shakalaka! 
man, these bad guys just for a quick. They got mech, mad science, and mad a master plan. Here we go! And his stuff, see for all coming! <laughs> Boom! Whack, whack, mother! Take that our world from the verge of the machine. Glory to mankind. Cool. This makes me gears of war already. And the skies rained missiles, and the ground burned to ash, and the seas boiled, and people turned into shadows. Maybe not. So let us not fear the heretics at our door. Oh, is this a Metroid? Even Metroid? with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil, and shining its heretical light upon us. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. We will not falter! Let us steel ourselves against them! For this is our hour of glory! Amen! Let's move out, Artyom. Or German, so it might be Wolfenstein. They want blood, they will give it. We'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. Phil Spencer. Metro had me at its gritty visuals, brutal landscapes, and its mystery of the ruins above ground. What I love about our art form is the vast range of creative expression, from grim post-apocalyptic battles to hand-painted spirit guardians. Whatever world these creators build, whatever story they tell, Whatever sound effects they use, we will work with creators to guarantee that their games look and play best on Xbox One. Like this next game, generations have loved role-playing games from inventive studios in Japan. Our next yep. game is the latest in a legendary series. For the first time ever on Xbox, Kingdom Hearts. Yes! Yes! Hey! 
It's cold! Yes, these two used to the beach. It's hey, fucking frozen, what, isn't it? What can I say? Look, even the sea's turning to ice. Fuck, we've got frozen. Wow. There, yep, there she goes. There goes Elsa. Fuck, I knew, I knew, I knew this was going to happen. Snowman, you really are alive. Hello. Olaf, are these your friends? Hmm? No, never met him. No, don't do this Ooh, now! Blue, green, or <laughs> fucking, I fucking knew it. I knew, I knew Frozen would be in the game. I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen. I kn fucking knew it, man. Oh, Simba! Simba! Wait, wait will Simba or Mufasa? Tangled. Whoa! Yeah. Ha. Lost the thing. Oh, that other world. We have gummy shift back. I know the gummy shift will come back. Oh. Look out! Well, that's weird. Whoa. That's amazing. You can control ice. Control it? No. All I ever do. Is hurt people. This is my home now. I can't go back. I don't want to hurt anyone. Hark! Look out! Oh, don't freeze on me now! What the fuck? Roxas does exist. What? Roxas exists? Exist? I'm missing it! The other Twilight Town is just data. So what will Elsa accept? What a fucking stupid time for this shit to happen! I know. I wanna know. Well, good for you, but guess what? I won't let her fall to darkness! Is that? Mickey. Aqua! You're too late. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Was that Xehanort fucking... Excuse I can't believe it! Out of all the games that it freezes on, it was fucking that one! You know how keen of being for fucking Kingdom Hearts? And it freezes right on that fucking... It makes me so angry! Yeah! Fucking bullshit! You needn't call her in the... Why is doing this? The doorway. I actually like meeting new people. Yeah, besides, the conversation... Let's see if these are already out. ...friend here has reached a bit of an impasse. I think he just needs a moment to cool off. Now, I sense that you brought me something to inspect. Show me. Oh. Oh. The waves of change roll throughout the seas, and a new land is revealed. The forsaken shores, a place of darkness, where fire and ash consume all, and from the depths skeleton crews will rise to curse the seas. An ancient evil set loose upon the sea of thieves. You have delivered unto me a portent of two most terrible. Oh! You just wanted to know how much it was worth, didn't you? Fine, I'll give you ten for it. Okay. They like expansion pack or some shit?
Kids of War. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm sorry, that music just sounded like it. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Uno momento! Ah, Battlefield. Eh. Exclusive world premiere. Oh, that's the color. There's still some shit I'm assuming. Yeah, it's just a racing game. Not really into racing. Oh, I was gonna fucking talk about it. All the games I want them to talk about, they fucking don't. But the games I don't give a shit about. Oh, let's, let's have this guy. Thank you so much. It is fantastic to be here today. I am excited to show excited. you the world premiere Forza Horizon 4, set in beautiful, historic Britain. Yep, I can tell you about Forza Horizon 4 features dynamic seasons in a shared open world, and seasons change everything. Let me introduce you to some of our team who will be helping demo the game today. Please welcome Bill, who is online with a few friends in the beautiful English countryside. He has chosen the incredible new McLaren Senna. And say hi to Solomon who is hanging out with his buddies on the streets of Scotland's capital, Edinburgh. So Solomon is driving the Hoonigan Ford Focus. And please welcome Andy, whose off-road buggy is perfect for taking jumps, scaling rocky terrain, and having fun on the coastline of Britain. But first, let's join Rebecca. She is enjoying the summer in her highly customized Nissan Silvia. The sun is out, the sky is blue, the is and it's out. the perfect day for a drive. Forza Horizon 4's Britain is a shared open world. When you play, you play with the entire community. And that means the That's other drivers cool. you'll meet in the game will be real people with all the variety, spontaneity, and fun that real people bring. Let's join Bill. 
He's in the same shared world as Rebecca, driving at speeds made even more thrilling on Xbox One X by the brand new 60 FPS mode. <laughs> Meanwhile, Andy is bouncing around the dunes nearby. As you can see, Horizon 4 is still full of action-packed fun. And now we're going to show you how seasons change everything. In Horizon 4, every season changes the world around you, with each bringing its own unique beauty and unique gameplay. One of the great things about this shared world is that it's easy to interact with the people you meet. Here, Solomon and Rebecca use the new quick chat feature on the D-pad to start a new friendship. It looks like Rebecca has found some like-minded friends. It's great to play solo, but it's better to play with others. Horizon 4 lets you seamlessly enter co-op from within the game world. Seasons, time of day, and weather conditions are dynamic, but they are synchronized for every player, so the entire community will experience them at the same time. Now, as much as we'd all love to sit and watch the sun go down together, let's see how this scene looks in winter. Oh, so the things change. Okay, that's cool. Is this the entire real time world or? changes beyond recognition. In winter, the lake has frozen solid, and previously inaccessible areas can be reached. The trees have entirely lost their leaves, and snow and ice cover the terrain. The visuals and the driving experience couldn't be more <laughs> And now a blimp has appeared over the ice to signal the start <laughs> of a new world event. <laughs> Forza Home Live invites the entire community to come together and cooperate to win big rewards. And while they head off to the event, I'd like to show you how the world of Forza Horizon 4 looks in spring. So, does these... Once again, the world changes seasons. completely with the seasons, bringing new driving experiences... Yeah, does the seasons happen in real time, or are they happen in game? ...across the whole world. Every season, there are new reasons to play Forza Horizon 4, and the huge, creative, fun-loving Horizon community will be there to enjoy them with you. Today you've seen a completely new take on Horizon. In Forza Horizon 4, you will live in a vast, beautiful world in which dynamic seasons change everything. Forza Horizon 4 is coming to Xbox One and Windows 10 on October 2nd, and right, I am thrilled to announce that it will be included in Xbox Game Pass on the same day. Thank you so much. People are so keen for game time. Please welcome back, Bill Spencer. We know that exclusive games from our Microsoft Studios are what originally turned so many of us into Xbox fans. My team and I take our commitment to you seriously to make Xbox One the best place for you to play and for you to have the best game on the world's most powerful console. This is why we're increasing our investment in our existing franchises that you already love. And this is why we are amplifying our investment in new worlds that will deepen your love for gaming on Xbox. We embarked on a quest, a quest to find creative teams that have the mastery of our art. And we found innovative game designers, master storytellers, exceptional world builders. And now I'm proud to introduce the creation of a brand new Microsoft Studio. The Initiative. Okay. Led by Daryl Gallagher, 
a visionary storyteller who has worked across some of the most iconic franchises for over 20 years. This new Santa Monica studio is building a team of world-class talent to create groundbreaking new game experience. And next, I'm excited to welcome Undead Labs to Microsoft Studio. This studio caught our attention with their visionary approach to building a zombie survival franchise. They just released their second infestation into the world. And in the first two weeks, over two million of you have joined the fight to survive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Said the K2. Now, I got that. It it's my distinct pleasure to announce that we have acquired Playground Games. This is one of the highest rated studios of this generation, celebrated for their incredible craftsmanship. Not only will Playground Games continue to work on Forza Horizon, they're bringing their open world expertise to an entirely new project. We can't wait to share more about that later. And for the fourth new studio, it's my personal honor to welcome Ninja Theory to Microsoft Studio. Ninja Theory? I haven't heard of them, but they sound cool as fuck. I met Nina and Kameen when we collaborated on Kung Fu Chaos back on the original Xbox. And a minute into playing Hellblade, you know you're in the hands of master storytellers who are fearless about telling bold, cinematic stories. This is a team gifted in creating new franchises. And yes, we've got a fifth studio to announce. Compulsion Games. Two years ago, we premiered a game we couldn't get out of our heads. A game that captivated us with its strong, fresh, and intense storytelling. We Happy Few is released is is nearing its full release to gamers everywhere. Yeah, except Australia, so help fuck. Me welcoming all of our new studio. <laughs> By joining us at Microsoft Studios, these five new teams will have the resources, the platform, and creative independence to make big, take bigger risks, create even bolder worlds for you. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. Is there? Have you had your joy, Ollie? People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in rainbows. Have you not noticed? Oh, Ollie. Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No. It's better not to know. <laughs> wiki, wiki, everyone. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington. Do what you should be doing, and you never have to worry. Sorry. Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not slowed out of our minds on joy. It's not a lovely day for it! It's a f***ing terrible day for it! If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you turn them into robots made out of meat! Where is it? Where's the black boy? People won't face back. Not until we take their joy. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. I thought we Happy Few was already out. I played it ages ago. Exclusive. Wow. Oh, 
Very Grand Theft Auto style. Very Grand Theft Auto style. Another fucking battle royale thing. Battlegrounds. Play at unknown battlegrounds. Okay, PUBG. World premiere. <sighs> Alright. What is this? Anime, I like it. Hail of Really, it's on this crap again? Why is it when good games are looking interesting comes up? Fucking lucky, I don't know what this game is. Oh, fuck you. Sorry about this, guys. I fucking hate when it does this shit. Whoa, just completely missed that fucking trailer. World premiere. Oh my god, hurry up, fucking ads! Washington, D.C. 177 foreign embassies, 550 elected officials, and 23,000 military personnel. In the event of an attack, critical personnel are evacuated, underground shelters open, while complex defense systems patrol the sky. But nothing stopped the virus. 27 days after patient zero, Washington fell. It began with riots on K Street, then shootings in the National Mall. Troops withdrew to bunkers. Civilians were left in the streets. America is on the brink of collapse. But some people have survived. Gardens grow on rooftops. Their fence is patrolled with rifles in communities that live under constant siege. Survival has taken the form of urban warfare. Centuries ago, on this very soil, Brother fought brother, spilling blood to forge the United States. History is threatening to repeat itself. Now, in the heat of summer, six months after the outbreak began, a remnant of a corrupt... Stop doing this! ...in the shadows, ready to engage in a new civil war. Agents of the Division are the only ones standing against it. But how do you save a nation... When its enemies come from within. Oh, 
Fuck it, I'm gonna lower the internet count. As far as I know, it's still going. This looks really nice. Graphics are mint. Matt, that crash site is just ahead. Is this the same game? Duke, Kit, did you guys hear that? Yeah. Closer this time. Oh, this parachute dropped right through the ceiling. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, that'll come in handy. So you guys are coming, or what? Yeah. Oh, Merry Christmas. Pretty. Oh, here's the door. Who's talking? Are they talking, or is it in there? Alright, let me just talk to this guy. Okay, meet us at the sinkhole? Yep. Okay, sure. Wow. Okay. Definitely from the capital. You should have a new side mission on the map. Yeah, we're not that far. Okay, do it after the crash site? Sounds good. They're just ahead of us, Matt. Hey, I see you. I'll be up in a sec. Kit, we gotta get you leveled up. I know. Please help. I've been busy. Toxic chemical residue detected. A lot of loot down there. Hey, you guys should really check this out. Almost there. So that's the control point. Hey, wait, this has to be scripted. Uh, Real people. Yep, I see him. Don't aggro him yet. Let me adjust my build. Got my crossbow and chem launcher. Chem cloud out. Matt, can you flank them and get a clear shot? I'll take that sniper on top. Wait for it. Got her. Matt, look out! Alright, let me try to get that tank off you. More bad guys on the other side of the plane. Grenade, grenade! Dude, come on. Yep, yep, yep. Matt, I need your help. Over here. Over there. Whoa! Oh, I'm stuck. Do you need a little help? Thanks, Matt. The hell is that? Oh, there's a dude rushing through the plane. Guys! Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Oh! Down. Yeah, hang on, I'll get you. I'll cover you guys. Come on, come on. Get that weak point. Oh crap, Matt, watch out. Setting my drone. Thank you for the revive, Meg. Shoot him in the head. I've got this guy behind the tank. 
map of the hive knife. Alright, just lay it on him. Again? Drop down. Oh, there goes his armor. Ah. You're on your own. Keep going. Good job. Level up. Level 30. Oh, sweet. Congrats. Alright, flare is up. Control point is ours. Nice. You guys wanna check out the plane? Let's go. Analyzing ballistic residue. Looks no like a found. rough landing. Jesus. Whoa, that's nuts. Let's check it out. Great idea, let's just die. So, game plan. Take the capital back. I think we're ready. Three, two, one, go, 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 go! The division. Ah. Please welcome the head of engineering Xbox Game Pass, Ashley Spiker. This is a special time for gamers. We've never had so many incredible games to play. Storied franchises, uncharted worlds, new releases, and cult classics. Genres we love, and genres we love to explore. There's only one problem. Too often we are forced to choose one amazing game over another. So we set out to solve that problem. And to answer the question, what if you didn't have to choose? What if you could play them all? The answer, Xbox Game Pass. A way to give gamers the uh -huh. ultimate freedom to play. And your response has blown us away. Not only are you playing more games, you are spending more time gaming. Freedom of choice is leading to more discovery, more play, and more fun. <laughs> And we couldn't be more inspired to keep building and unlocking more for you. So for the last year, we've been working on how to give you faster access to all those games. We leveraged the machine learning expertise we have at Microsoft and invented a way to start your games twice as fast. And naturally, we're calling it Fast Start. Unlike the current ready-to-start system, which is manually configured, Fast Start uses machine learning techniques based on how gamers actually play games. And Fast Start is designed to get better as the algorithms and parameters are refined over time. I'm pleased to announce that Fast Start will launch for select titles in the June update coming later this month. I'm so confused what the fuck that is. Do you want to download it also? Ultimately, it all comes down to the games. We'll continue to deliver iconic favorites like Halo the Master Chief Collection, coming later this year. Oh, for the false stuff, thing, yeah, okay. We also plan to release all new exclusive games from Microsoft Studios, including Forza Horizon 4, Crackdown 3, and more, into the Xbox Game Pass catalog on the same day as their global release. Every month, we'll also bring new games from leading creative studios into your Xbox Game Pass library. Games like Ashen, Warhammer Vermintide 2, After Party, and Phoenix Point, all available in Xbox Game Pass the same day as their global release. So that's what's next, but let's talk about what's happening today. Tom Clancy's The Division. The, the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited. 
and Fallout 4. All enhanced for Xbox One X in gorgeous 4K, and all of them playable today in Xbox Game Pass. Back to Thank you to all of the developers working with us to bring freedom of choice to gamers around the world with Xbox Game Pass. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, I knew why I came here. I saw it. The end. No, turn right off. Eh. I was so vivid. But now the truth feels further away than ever. I still have so many questions. You said you were going out. But I heard you through the wall. I said don't go We can't let Trinity get hold of this. Do you realize the tragedy you have unleashed? The cleansing has begun. It calls to me now to stop it before it consumes us all. What have I done? He wants to alter the course of humanity. If you had that power, 
what would you do? Shut up the tomb right now. Exclusive. They say I'm like Bruce Willis, some breakable die hard. Two sickness with this mic on the tripod, but I'm not shout your bag. Break a fill a pillar up so Flows into your soul. Mass on your whole militia like a cannibal. Imagine you the analog, and I'm the king of the jungle. Animal instinct, phenomenal stamina. Just think about a man on the brink of the sea. And it's me, you not a rapper, you a movie star. Check it, movie art, be the booty star. I'm a top top fan. You get part of movie, regardless. A marvelous, majestic. All my power harness shit, my spoken word like a Voltron sword, and he's pulled close to arsenic, every badly, badly, come on. How is it be? This is you. This is me. And MC. The song we know. The powers that be. This is you. It's in me. And MC. That's all we know. The powers that be. It's in you. It's in me. And MC. That's all we know. The powers that be. This is you. It's in me. And MC. Exclusive. They say you only live once. I beg to differ. I was born three times, and I met death three times. My first home was out and over. The curiosity I gained there cost me my first life. I awoke again in Tarif, the village of the sorcerers. I once thought this, this would be my true home. Everything changed when I started to ask the forbidden questions. What exactly is the true nature of the black stone? What lies beneath the vast desert? Who was it that was calling me from the depths beyond the desert? The world never paid heed to such questions. They just fought on, blinded, and hungered for more and more of the power. It is time that I, at long last, reveal the hidden secrets once and for all. Oh, what you say? If you dare to learn your true wretched self, behold, I am Elezra, the darkness born from the desert. Black desert. Okay. World premiere. We've known each other a long time. Hold the line! Hold the line! Number what the fuck is this? You never had this much trouble. You gonna let me do this? They're demons! I see them with my own eyes! They're crazy! They're completely taken over! Let us pray for mercy. Devil may cry. Hey, honey. Need Are they following? That better be a fucking new character. Cause if that's the the fucking that it fucking is. That better not be Dante. If that's that fucking punk Dante from that stupid fucking Devil May Cry. Yeah, he's real pro with passing demons yeah. around. That's why building that well functioning arm <laughs> to keep demon ass. <laughs> Oh, 
God damn it, it is Punk Dante. What? No chit chat or monologue? Just getting right to the point, huh? I miss the real Dante. My little fat ass work is worth every dime, you know it. Cash first. Which is meant to be Punk Mirror. Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry 5. You can't. Wait. Is that the real Dante? Just real Dante! So then there's another guy! Please welcome. From Capcom, producer Matt Walker, and director Hideaki Itsuno. As director, I wait four years for this. Thank you so much. DMC is back! English, English is hard. Math, you do it. Of course. It's been 10 years since Devil May Cry 4 was released, and fans have been asking for a true sequel ever since. So this is our response, loud and clear, that we hear you. Devil May Cry and Hideaki Itsuno are back! Early on in the development of Devil May Cry 5, we set our sights on creating something that was going to have world-class visuals. So we've scanned fully costumed models for all of our main characters, and with the power of Xbox One X, we're able to render them as realistically as possible. Now, while visuals are really important, the controls need to remain tight and responsive as well. So we've gathered the best minds at Capcom to ensure that we can still deliver that amazing gameplay that Devil May Cry is known for. And we think that we've made something that feels better than any action game we've ever created. Hold on, hold on. Sumite-no-fan-no-mina-sama-no-tameni-ichiban-no-jin-sakuga-dekimashita-e-shitai-shite-mo-ratte-dai-jougu-desu-yoroshiko-ne-yashimasu. Hisuzu-san says that he is convinced that this is the best game that he's ever made because we made it for you, our fans. And we hope you look forward to seeing more. Have a great history! Exclusive. I have Phil. I was, it's just, it, it was confusing. <laughs> DLC. Oh, is this Cuphead? Yeah, it is Cuphead. Thank you. 
looks like a fruit again. I don't know what any of those languages say. Oh, that's cool. I like the look of that guy. Well. Ooh. Tunic. Huh. Is that like Xbox's Zelda? <laughs> that tiny box in a big world is a prime example of the reach of gaming today. A labor of love conceived and created by a single developer in Halifax, Nova Scotia, is today commanding gaming's largest stage. Whether you're sharing the adventure of a tiny box with more than 20 million viewers on Mixer, or teaming up with Xbox Live friends to slay zombies, gaming is an incredible community. We've always believed that building community is vital for gaming. There's real power in our shared experience. Sharing the same world, the same seasons, the same campaigns. And there's real meaning in sharing our love of gaming with fellow gamers. This community is the reason why we love premiering games here at E3. For the rest of our briefing, everything you show you will be world premiere games no one has seen before. Okay. Starting off with something entirely new from our friends at Bandai Namco. On my last trip to Japan, their creative team showed me a sneak peek at their next game. Now, you get to see the first look. World premiere. There are worlds that exist separate from our own, where the impossible is reality. They consist of both good and evil. These worlds were never meant to meet. That's three the spaceship! Things have changed. Now, they have begun to merge as one. And our last hope. That's Naruto. Are the heroes we Fucking know. One Piece. Unite <laughs> to fight. Dragon Ball Z. Oh. Fuck yes. I mean, I don't like Naruto, but the others. Jump force. Jump force. I look fucking amazing. Death Note. Unite to fight. Fuck, that looks cool as shit. World premiere. Oh. It's been fifteen years since the fall. The city is a corpse, and we are the worlds. We burrow in it, fighting for every useful piece of land to preserve ourselves from the terrors of the night and the horrors of the day. No, not who can hear my voice. I shall therefore speak a word unto him. Anyone who dares to steal food will be hanged. Their bodies will be exposed. Every day we rise from dust. This gives me Assassin's Creed feeling, but they're all new games. We 
these choices we take to survive will create the world to come. Josh is going to be fucking keen for that. Please welcome narrative designer Chris Avalo. Hi, I'm Chris Avalone, and I'm excited to be working with Techland to create the world of Dying Light 2. Dying Light 2 is everything you'd expect from a bold sequel of the first game. A fluid parkour system with improved natural movement, deep and tactical first-person melee combat, and of course, terrifying nights when the infected emerge from the depths of the city to feed on anyone they can find. At the same time, we invite you to a new vision of the post-apocalypse, a bleak and unforgiving reality that we call the modern Dark Ages. Today, however, we want to give you a look at one of the impressive new features of Dying Light 2, a technical and narrative advancement for the franchise. Dying Light 2 will be the first in its genre where your choices have genuine consequences in the game itself, from how it looks, how it plays, to the events that occur. Everything in the game world can change based on your decisions. The following demo throws a bit more light on this. Fucking crane. Dying Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we are about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. You going to insult us with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeepers' orders one way or another. After this, you will start seeing a significant change in the city as access to the water supply allowed the peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. Huh. There's even running water for the people at the street level, and that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safer for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side. Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water on the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. Huh. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you will have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world. Each player's game experience will be unique. So, Mr. Tolbert, what do you way, think? This is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. Fucking wow, crazy, man. That looks pretty good. Exclusive world premiere. A lot of time has passed. You've gotten soft, complacent. You always knew this day would come. Deco? You always knew the three of you would be needed again. Three. You always... Wait. What? 
Battle Toads? Battle Toads! Fuck yes! A brand new game featuring body morphing genre mashups, three player couch co op, 4K hand drawn 2.5D graphics, and broad non specific feature declarations. They're back. Fuck yes! Oh shit, son. World premiere. Oh, that was not good for my arm. I was born to fight wars that no one could win. There was no fear. No failure. But the rules have changed. The enemy changed. And no one was ready for it. The Black Hand. They are the world's most powerful private army. But even they should fear what they've created. This is in a war, Rico. This is survival. Shut it. All the time. All right. World premiere. Key the war, and it was coming. What the fuck? Thirteen years ago, when I began my Gears of War journey, we had no idea how big this franchise would become. And as it's grown, we've dreamed of taking it to new places and different ways to reach even more fans. And that's why today we're announcing Gears Pop, a collaboration with our friends at Funko to bring a unique mobile spin to the world of Gears. And mobile is not the only new not place we're going. Okay. I'm excited to also announce the true Gears of War PC experience in a completely different genre, Gears Tactics. You create a whole new squad 12 years before Gears of War 1 as they hunt a locust monster maker responsible for destroying whole cities. It's our take on the classic turn-based strategy genre with a character-driven story, faster, more aggressive gameplay, okay. customizable squad and equipment, and of course, it wouldn't be a Gears game without a massive boss battle. We look forward to sharing more about tactics with you soon. But it's not just about going to new places. It's also about having new experiences. And the amazing team at the Coalition is working hard to bring you our most ambitious Gears of War title yet, Gears 5. Fuck yeah. Fuck yes. 
as Tate, as Tate, you'll journey across the biggest and most beautiful world we've ever created, with the war for humanity escalates on two fronts, outside the capital city and within Kate herself. In this moment from the game, Kate leads a rescue mission to a remote village, Kate. but something goes horribly wrong. What the fuck is Kate? I think I know her, but I... Kate. No, 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 Look on the different with me. Thanks for coming here. Of course. Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you two? He's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her a minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Marcus! Please. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. What? Something's happening to me. It's your grandmother's? Enough. We'll deal with this later. Foss, round these people up. I need help. There's a place up north. Yeah? I think we can find you answers there. No! No! Ow. It's your arm, yeah? We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, violence. both of you, listen. I'll go okay. with you. Look, okay. if you're missing, general notice. Okay? I'll push Jack the coordinates. No, well, Corporal, you're coming back to North Vera. That is a direct order. Well, Captain, screw your order. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Hey, watch her. The necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yes, so. Fuck she would never be our enemy by choice. Yeah. I know that. Yeah, because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? I want to be motherfucker. What am thingies? Hey, hey. What are you... Why did you come here with me? What did JD tell you? This is why Fucking Jesus. Alright, cool. Cool. Nice. 2019. In the entire history of Xbox, in the entire history of E3, 
in the entire history of our industry, gaming is now at its most vibrant. Today, we shared There's our a commitment game. to giving you the freedom to discover and play all of the great new games coming to Xbox Game Pass. Today, we showcase more games than we ever have before. 50 games, 18 titles with exclusivity, and 15 world premieres. Today, we shared our most diverse gaming portfolio in every measure. From breadth and art style, genre and cultures, range and subject and setting, scale and story and scope and creative vision. And every one of these plays best on Xbox. Of course it does. It's an Xbox conference. The world of gaming is on a historic growth path, where the increasing number of gamers is met with the increasing creative power of game developers. In this significant moment, we are constantly challenging ourselves. Where can we take gaming next? Our answer? We commit and harness the full breadth of our resources at Microsoft to deliver on the future of play. Our experts in Microsoft research are developing the future of gaming AI. So the worlds and characters we enjoy will be even more rich and more immersive. Our cloud engineers are building a game streaming network to unlock console quality gaming on any device. No. Not only that, we are dedicated to perfecting your experience everywhere you want to play, on your Xbox, your PC, or your phone. And of course, our hardware team the same team that delivered unprecedented performance with Xbox One X is deep into architecting the next Xbox console, where we will once again deliver on our commitment to set the benchmark for console gaming. And let's talk about our games themselves. We are committed to building an industry-leading first-party studios organization. And as you saw earlier, we are making one of our greatest single-year investments in teams by adding five new creative studios. Yeah, yeah. We have committed our team, our company, our technical resources, so we can declare to you today and next year and all of the years after that, you will always experience the best in gaming on Xbox. So choose the games you want to play. There are worlds to be saved, heroes to be made, and legends to become. Together. Thanks, and have a great evening. What? 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 What's going on? Shut up, bird. Red. What? What? In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues: sky-high rate of violence. Oh, this is uh, more people living below the poverty line than anywhere game. else. Oh, cool. Can't deny it; it's all true. But everybody still oh, wants to live here. The city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. 
Yes, it's there. Just around the corner. And it keeps you going. Oh, oh! The fuck? It's a city of dreams. And I'm a big dreamer. Fucking ribbon. That's a cool car. So I have a pump. I think I've been hearing people talk about this. This looks actually really good. Fucking king for King of Pops. That game looks cool as shit. That game looks cool as shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, guys. Thanks for watching, that was the fucking Xbox stream. I'll see you guys at fucking, um... I'll see you guys for Square Enix. I think that's next. This is Moonlight Ninja, signing out.